Hello and welcome to another exciting development diary. Uh, today I kind of changed the catalog in my never-ending quest to make people stop yelling at me about random shit. Uh, the catalog used to look like this. This is an archive that I could find. I didn't think to keep an archive just in case. Um, what it doesn't archive is that when you hovered over one of these, it would show, it would kind of fly out a little bit. It would roll over onto the ones below it. And uh, a lot of people complained about this um, all the time. In particular, because once you get a bunch of images in one thread like this, the text is kind of pushed down below. And it makes reading what the thread's about uh, difficult before you click it. Now, I, I was afraid to change it for a long time because uh, I, I felt it was very important to show as many attachments as possible. As for various reasons, um, but people really, really, really did not like my catalog. So I took inspiration from uh, 4chan X, which is a very good add-on, and I'm going to be borrowing a lot of functionality, uh, at least ideas of functionality from this. And you can see kind of how they do this, and it's very similar to how I had the catalog working before, um, but... The main thing that was really, really good about 4chan X is, is that as you can see, when I hover over, even though it does fly out on top of other items and more information is shown, the attachment itself is sort of anchored to the page. And with that attachment always being in a fixed position, you can very easily adjust your eyes to what's changing around it. It's sort of like a button or a pin that presses from the flyout into um, into the actual page and, and gives it a kind of consistency. So I, I borrowed very heavily from how 4chan X does it. Uh, pretty much copied it exactly. And this is a living site. This is the only board I can show, basically, that's not going to get this channel deleted. And uh, here's another one. And I'll show you... Uh, kind of, as you can see, it's way, way different from the archive. It's much closer to 4chan than it used to be, uh, or 8chan now. Um, but as you hover over it, you get that same kind of flyout with all that information. And as an additional little gotcha, um, when there are multiple attachments, if you hover over it, you kind of get this really cool collage going on around it. Uh, it starts to, to move the attachments left and right. And I'll probably change that and prove it a little bit. But even with the micro attachments, if you hover over one of the images, you still get the hover over effect. So you can barely see what it is, but you pull your mouse over it and you can see it much better. And as an, an additional little feature, um, I took the time to get... Um, the mobile kind of hopefully I can show this the mobile uh, thing kind of going on because watch what what happens. This is a, a standard phone view, right? Press into it and it does fold out, but unlike how it would fold out usually with the just expanding uh, fifty percent in each direction, it very specifically expands to fill out the screen from left to right. And if I click into this one, it does the exact opposite. It folds out from right to left. And then if I tilt my phone, now I have three threads. If I click this one, it, it folds out like normal. Click this one, it folds out to the right. And if I click this one, it folds out to the left. So um, that really improves the usability of the catalog on mobile. And I've flipped around with it on my phone. And it is way, way, way better. And there's no information loss like I was afraid to do when I was considering redesigning it to begin with. So uh, I've been I've been mostly working on the front end and the user experience for the last couple of days because um, I want to get the site feeling good. I got the thread watcher working and stuff, and I'm, I'm getting hiding posts working, and I'll have to go back and uh, kind of fix up some stuff that I'm unhappy with with all those things, but. Just laying the foundation for it so that people actually enjoy using the site is my current priority. And uh, that's about it. Just felt like I should say something. Bye-bye.